Hello everybody, my name is Kent Green and I'm doing a demonstration video of the amazing Emotive EEG wireless headset. If you haven't seen my last video where I demonstrated writing a simple Hello World Python program using a mental push command and a built-in gyroscopic mouse, then I suggest you check out that video first. For those of you who have already seen it, this project is a bit of a cut above my last demonstration. Uh, it's significantly more complex and involves a lot more software pieces and details, and, and it's, it's, it's a lot more challenging. Um, and I'm going to go through the details in a second, but the general thing is... Um, Whereas my last demonstration with the gyroscopic mouse would allow a person who is, say, quadriplegic to be able to interact with the computer by tilting their head like this and then uh, mentally pushing with their mind, this setup allows me to cycle through the keyboard and then use keyboard shortcuts to make commands and thereby essentially using the computer using just the mental push command, which means that if I had literally no physical way of interacting with the computer whatsoever, I would still, in theory, the system needs a lot of refinement, other such disclaimers, be able to interact with the computer. Now, you may notice down here, my on-screen keyboard is doing a scroll through function. Uh, I've set up the computer to cycle through the keys on the on-screen keyboard when I do a mental push command. Of course, when I'm trying to concentrate on dialogue and, and you know, keep my stage nervousness in control, sometimes it gets a false reading. Um, but with more and more practice, it's been a bit more consistent. Um, so let's see. Uh, trying not to lose my train of thought too much here. So, first I use a mental push command. I'm going to start by using a mental push command to go through the keys and select a key um, to press. And um, I've taken some of those keys and I've mapped them to commands that will allow me to operate the computer, including moving the mouse, uh, in a very interesting way, uh, and act and run programs and type. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to show today. So by mentally pushing, I start cycling through the keys I want. The first one I want is at the top. I want that like backwards apostrophe one because that activates my mouse program. Oh, my aim was off. Well, my timing feels like aim. Um, and that's one of the challenges of of this system. As I refine the sensitivity and practice, uh, it's gotten easier, but it, I still miss sometimes. There we go. I hope my facial expressions are entertaining when I'm doing that. Now the next thing I did is I mapped uh, coordinates of the screen. That's why the desktop has that solar panel looking background. That's actually functional because the bold boxes are my primary squares that I'm going to choose from by picking a number between 1 and 9. And then the less prominent boxes are the same principle. They're divided into 9 spaces and then I will pick one. All right, so uh, I think there might be a timeout on this. So, well, let's just try it. Okay, no, too slow. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to open up Notepad. Uh, so I need to press 4 next. Okay, there we go. Now we just need to hit enter. There we go. Oh, that's below. Okay. Ah. Okay, I haven't done any kind of drag function, so... With your forgiveness, I'm going to cheat for just a moment to get this where I want it. There are ways to implement shortcuts for dragging, but then, like, I, I haven't gotten to that part. Uh, work in progress! Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type a shortcut that I've mapped to a special message for all of you. We're going to get that W. This actually is not so bad at all now that I'm getting used to it. I don't really want to do another take. I probably could do it without like with even less mistakes, but there we go. So as you can see, along with the shortcuts that allow me to move the mouse, I can expand abbreviations into pretty much anything I can make up. In this case, a hello world greeting, because that's always a great first message with the program, and a thank you from my heart for watching my demo. I hope you enjoyed it. This was really, really hard, and there are so many little quirks that I had to smooth out. And yes, the, there's a lot of quirks. Um, but yeah, let me let me explain all my credits. Of course, this was a project I embarked on myself, but irrespective of that, most of what I've done is I've researched and I've collected materials that many other people and things have been involved with. Uh, so, concept and design, Kent Green, that's me, if you forgot. Uh, I have to give a important credit to my younger brother, Kipper Green, for the... he wrote the math function that allowed me to tell the program where to send the mouse by dividing the screen into nine pieces and then that piece into nine pieces and he actually wrote it so that it could go on forever for as long as you need it which is neat because that means it would work with uh, any size you really need it to um, and then, of course, are the different software resources I used for this project. Uh, of course, the Emotive EEG headset and its built-in software development kit tools. The Windows on-screen keyboard right there. And the AutoHotKey scripting language is what I use to program the both the mouse mover... Um, and the message writing, and I uh, there was an open source program called Mouser that I took the code and I basically <laughs> I completely like I I saw how it worked and then I took out all the functional parts <laughs> and then made my own algorithm for positioning. It used a different approach for positioning the mouse. Um, but I still felt that it was derivative, of, uh, derivative enough that I should give credit to the original coder who also made it a vis um, 
who made it open source so that I could do this without any copyright issues. And he called his program Mouser version 1. His name is Adam Pash. Uh, so thank you, open source guy who I've never met. I think I've covered everything. Um, I don't think that was too terrible of a script. I hope you enjoyed watching this amazing project. And um, I, I gotta think for a little bit about what I want to do next. <laughs> Bye. I think that's good. I think that. Besides, I'm getting a I'm getting a headache. It gets uncomfortable. Oh wait, hit the hit the key to to finalize the recording. Maybe I'll leave this celebration in. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. It worked. Well, I can't believe it worked. Okay, now it's just being funny, but I did it! Oh my god, I did it! I did it! <laughs>